Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here. And today, I just want to share with you guys all my Arkansas Razorback uh, game-worn jerseys. I uh, know I've said I've done this, I would do this in the past, and uh, some people have uh, seen my jerseys and have wanted to uh, see all of them that I have. And I uh, finally started, decided to do this today. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, kind of each generation of each jersey that I have. Um, I have jerseys dating back to 2006. Um, I've been collecting these for a while. Uh, it's one of my hobbies that I enjoy doing when I go to Razorback games. Um, I always try to find these. And uh, each one of these kind of has a little story to them. I've got a lot of memorabilia. And I uh, just thought I'd share it with you guys today. And uh, just go over each jersey and just kind of look at them in uh, some detail. So I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this. Okay, so starting out here, I have a 2006 home Cardinal Red uh, number 48 jersey. Um, this is an Adidas jersey. Um, got the SEC patch there. Um, you can kind of tell that there's a few um, paint scrapes where this player has been laying out some hits. Um, it's stitched up right here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, someone's tried to repair this. It was probably the team who actually tried to who repaired this and uh, stitched it up so it could be tried try to be used again. Um, one thing you can tell is from 2006, uh, some of these jerseys will have a little. Uh, a little tag right here that says what yours is, so that's 06, which I refer to as 2006. Um, and then uh, the number sizing is kind of different. Um, not like your normal jerseys where they'd be like a large or an extra large or something like that. Uh, most big you know, colleges, they use sizing uh, using numbers. Um, and each number, higher numbers will represent a, um, a bigger jersey, and the smaller ones will be a uh, kind of a smaller jersey. And I'll show you that in some of my other... Uh, jersey video my jerseys that I have so uh, you'll see some of that different but uh, I'll quickly show you the back of the jersey um, as you can tell none of these jerseys are going to have the players names on the back uh, they can't sell um, anything with the players name on the back that's NCAA rules so um, now we'll move on to a different jersey here this one was used in 2007 um, it's a road jersey. It's also Adidas. Uh, this is basically the same. This would be the same uh, jersey as those, but there's just this is just the away jersey. Um, and then what's neat about this one? It has the uh, 75th anniversary patch for the SEC. That's pretty neat. I really like this jersey a lot. Uh, since it's got that, it's a pretty cool patch on it. Uh, as far as I can tell, this jersey was never used. <laughs> um, and as you can see there, 2007. This is a number 50, so it's like I said, but compared to this one, it is uh, quite a bit. This one would obviously be, obviously be for like an offensive lineman, which uh, this player was. Um, can't really connect his name right now. I could definitely flash it up on the screen if you guys wanted to know the names, but uh, there's the back of the jersey. It doesn't even look like it had a, a, a name stitched on it, so yeah, this jersey was probably never used, but. Still, with the SEC patch on it, that's pretty neat. And uh, definitely, these two years were definitely big years in Razorback football. You know, they went to both, both went to big bowl games, and it actually would lead up to uh, some pretty big stuff coming up. Okay, in 2008, when Bobby Petrino became the Razorbacks head coach, you know, after he, Houston Nutt left, um, the Razorbacks got new jerseys. And these are the new um, Adidas ones they got. For 2008, they also used them in 2009. Um, number 80, uh, he actually graduated this year for 2012. Is Chris Gregg? Uh, this jersey is actually quite big, 52. It's the biggest jersey I own as far as size. Um, and then you can kind of tell 2008 and the sizing there. Um, this jersey has, I don't believe it's been used. Um, it does look like it's had a name kind of glued on there, but. Uh, as far as I can tell, this jersey has no use. Um, number four, one of my favorite players, uh, he graduated in 2011, was Jarius Wright, who also plays now for the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, I believe this jersey was used in 2009, just because, I don't want to say that, and just because of the SEC patch, which uh, I believe that one was out uh, in 2009, but it does say 08, so this jersey may have been um, not used till 2009. It's a number 40. One of my smaller jerseys that I have. Um, it has a few marks on here. He plays receiver. Um, he got quite a bit of playing time 
um, back when he was a uh, in his early college career. It's got a, even a uh, where it's been stitched up there. And here I'll show you the back. Pretty skinny jersey, like for a receiver. So pretty awesome. Uh, number 92, which um, if any Razorback fans know, 92 was, has been over the years. Um, DeQuinta Jones or DD Jones, uh, defensive tackle. Also have reason to believe that was used in 2009, just because of the patch. Um, not a lot of use on this jersey, as far as I can tell. Um, but overall, pretty cool lineman number 92. And uh, this one actually, it's kind of a smaller size from what you'd think of a defensive tackle like a 44. But uh, that's, you know, pretty cool. So that's all my uh, 2008 and 2009 uh, home jerseys. I've got some away ones here. Um, 2000, let's see, so this is the 2008 jerseys. Uh, number 60 was Seth Oxner, which he ended up uh, starting at center for a couple years, and then he ended up transferring to a, a D2 school. Um, so, yeah, this one hadn't had a lot of use on it either. Um, it had the name patch on it, so it's definitely been used probably game day, but um didn't have any prior use, and they kind of tore that off really good and kind of messed up the jersey, but that's all right. And uh, th this was kind of the patch they used in 2008. Obviously the size there. I didn't get these for $75. Um, actually, all these jerseys that are here, I got all these for 10 bucks. So that was a really good deal on all these. Um, number 20, which uh, in 2008, number 20 was uh, Dallas Washington, a safety. Um, it's got some paint marks there from other uh, from the other team on the on the uh, two there and then on the back or on the here on the shoulders I believe there was a few marks but as far as I can tell it must have been wrong but uh sure he's got a little bit of use not much but uh, uh moving on to number 71 uh, number 71 was an offensive guard uh, Wade Grayson started a lot of games uh, graduated in 2010 so, and this one's got some pretty good black marks on it from, I believe this team they might have played with these jerseys was uh, South Carolina. I've looked back at some pictures and they played South Carolina and they played, played the only team they really played in black was South Carolina. And, you know, South Carolina is normally a, uh, they have Garnett, but uh, that's their color, but I think they were alternate colors. So there's my 2000, uh, 2008 and 2009 uh, home and away jerseys. Now we're going to move to uh, the newer jerseys.